The women's final of Australian Open 2016 produced arguably the match of the tournament between defending champion Serena Williams and Angelique Kerber. The seventh seed was looking to become the first German to win a Grand Slam title since Steffi Graf's French Open win in 1999. Coincidentally, it was Graf's record of 22 major titles that Williams was attempting to match. The stage was set for one almighty battle. We join the action midway through the first set with the underdog Care Bear up a break at 3-2. Bread and butter for Williams, half court. Oh. And again, that's the pace of shot and not the short second serve. Williams able to execute on that occasion. Not that time for Williams at that time. She gave a little bit more margin. Come on! Game, Williams. Well, that's the second serve that we talked about, and it's on Serena's racket, and she's starting to Three make her presence felt off second serves. Saw the Daphne Akers trophy at the start of proceedings here. Oh. 22 for Williams and make her seven time champion here. Oh. 15. That's her only double fault so far. How many left-handers out there? Um, Kvitova, maybe one that 15, uh, gives Williams trouble. Well, at the moment, Williams is having to come up with something pretty Good special enough. to win the point because Kerber running so many balls down. Oh, just mistimed that. Almost hit it too early. 30, 40. Hesitated at one stage. I thought she was going to move forward, take that in the air, and then backed off a little. Great point now. This crowd really into this final. Steps in to take it in the air. A little bit of frustration there for Williams. She loses another serve. It's Kerber with a break. 4-3. That's the important point. First point serving for the set. Kerber did a great job of getting to that ball and then sending it back Third very minute. low.
Yep. She's just absorbed everything that's been thrown out of Kerber. Surprise to most folks, six games to four in 39 minutes. We rejoin the action at 2-1 in the second set with Williams looking to make inroads on the Kerber serve. Oh. Yeah, the point Love is the now, KP, is that now she's here, maybe I can win this. And that's a whole different mindset. Forget about that. Play it as the old cliche, point by point. Love them. Double faults in this Love game. Him. Coaches, when they're nervous, always lean forward, fold their arms. You know he's up tight. It's good. One save. It's very important for Serena to win, for being ahead of these break points. Still one to go. That's a better game from Williams. And Williams. A little bit of pace off all the ground strokes. And not trying to hit them as hard. Williams leads the three. Finding the mark, so gets the break. Now, the question is, Williams consolidate here. 3-1. Three, 3-1. One. Serve and it gets back. That's what it takes to win a point to subdue Angie Kerber. That's the go to serve it when she's confident and when she's playing well. That one comes out Third quite two. often. And now that's the first time we've seen it tonight. Huck. 40. 40. Yeah. That's the one, the half court ball that she normally puts winners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Williams. Williams 4 1, second set. Fifteen. Fifteen.
fifth inning. Fifth inning. Doesn't matter how good you are serving for the set or for matches. A little more difficult than regulation. Double fault creeps in there. It's a third. 15 all. And that's a third ace. 30 15. Going the distance in this one. Serena Williams wins the second set in 33 minutes, six games to three. Fittingly, a third set would decide the championship. We rejoin the action in the early stages with Kerber leading one love. Again, burnt on that forehand. Kerber goes back there all the time. Williams only made one volley off that backhand side in five attempts. Yes. She's been very successful. Kerbo with an early break in the third. Last time the number seven seed won this tournament, it was Serena Williams that won it. Many years ago when she was seeded seven. Rally. Cheers. Cheers. Well, after a 19 shot rally, relief for Williams. There it is. There it is again. It was right there. Once more. Gutsy second serve. Advantage Williams. Oh, -ho! genius from Kerber. First drop shot of the match, or maybe the second one. Seven, seven minutes of this one. Yes. yes. And this is just a great idea. Executes it perfectly. And Williams just not not expecting that. Pressure. 
Going for the big serve. 2012 was the last time Angelique Kerber beat Serena Williams. She hasn't missed too many of those. Again, that's one of the few times that she's gone to the backhand side. for the big serve pressure and once more down. another opportunity for Kerber <laughs> and it's long Game lifted up on that one Kerber keeps getting these you first serves me. back into play deserves the break at 4-2 final set After the brutal sixth game, Williams was on the ropes and couldn't break back. We rejoin the action with Kerber serving for the championship at 5-3. This is this crowd, folks. This is what it's all about, Grand Slam tennis. Daphne Akers' trophy awaits. Love 15. She's overdone it. 15 13. Oh, oh. What a magnificent response from Williams. Two hours on the time clock there. Oh, and a good solid Game return Williams. from Williams. Didn't overplay that one, so Kerber she breaks leads. back. 5-4, Five Five, Kerber leads. Final set. Now Serena moves a little uptight. Love 30. Love 30. 15, 30. Oh, what a time to come up with that. Championship stuff. 
Absolutely. Well, she just made sure she got that second serve in, but boy, Kerber was all over it. This crowd's gone nuts. And then it's Kevin. After two hours and eight minutes, the 28-year-old German has a match point. Championship point. Thank you. Thank you. Performances there from Angie Kerber. Unbelievable.